And while many folks are planning to gather with their families for the holidays, a Marine veteran is having to travel to another country to visit his wife. Yeah, that's because of the COVID travel restrictions that are going on all across the world. Really unique case here. KCRA3's Brittany Johnson explains. That's right. The pandemic has led to major delays at U.S. embassies across the globe. Tonight, we introduce you to Neil Conway and his wife, Yesenia. She, like many others, anxiously waiting to start her new life here in the United States with her husband. But she's already been waiting more than two years, and experts say she and many others could be waiting for years to come. It just clicked in my heart. From the very first time Marine Corporal Neil Conway laid eyes on Yesenia. I don't know how to describe the feeling that I felt, but it, it made sense. He hoped it wouldn't be the last. Her cheeks are a little bit rosy. <laughs> but it was more than looks that made Neil realize he wanted to marry her. I think how sweet she is, just undescribably sweet. I don't think she has a bad bone in her. She, I don't think she could even hurt a fly, to be honest. Yesenia felt the same. And after one year of dating, the two married in Lima, Peru. <laughs> it was one of those few times in my life where I've actually been really nervous. Neil, still enlisted at the time, had to finish his tour in Japan. We started the visa process, hoping that she would be here by the time I left service. And that was two years ago now. I'm on the uh, plane after waiting over four months to see my wife, and so I'm gonna see her for the first time. Two years later, the pair are still trying to reunite. It's been hard, kind of like waking up and realizing she's still not next to me. According to Neil, the delay for Yesenia Conway's visa is the very last step of the process, an interview with the U.S. Embassy. But they've hit a major snag. And through email and call, they refuse to give me an answer about when they're going to open. Unfortunately, it is common. Blake Nordahl has been an immigration attorney for 20 years, assisting people with immigration services who can't afford an attorney. He says due to the COVID-19 pandemic, U.S. embassies have less staff on site. I looked before a meeting at Lima, Peru in particular, and I saw that right now they're at about 50 to 70 percent capacity. Nordahl says it's complex and applicants deal with multiple agencies. At each step, there can be uh, problems that uh, slow down the process or stop the process and make it very difficult for U.S. citizens to help bring their uh, loved ones into the country. Their only contact. Video chats. But even pre-pandemic, the visa process took at least a year. As for when embassies will catch up. It could easily be about five years would be my guess in terms of when we're able to uh, be back to how we were pre-pandemic and caught up with the entire backlog. His advice to applicants like Neil and Yesenia. In my opinion, it's critically important to have an attorney that can help you through this multiple stage process. For now, this Marine who gave his best years to his country can only hope for a miracle. We both cry. <laughs> this is the hardest thing. It's like having your heart going out of your chest. I'm here in the Sacramento airport. I'm going to go see my wife. That his next holiday visit <laughs> will be the last time he leaves alone. It would be the most incredible thing in the world, to be honest. KCRA 3 Investigates contacted the U.S. Embassy in Lima, Peru. Now, it confirmed having extended wait times due to the pandemic. Neil also reached out to Congressman Tom McClintock and Senator Alex Padilla for some help here. Now, McClintock's office did confirm filing an expedited request on Neil's behalf. Brandy, Brian, back to you. Okay, yeah. Brittany, we know we're going to follow up on this, so uh, we'll look forward to seeing what happens here.